Hi, I'm Craig Jones, President and CEO of Performance Epoxy Coat. I entered the floor coating industry in 1981. My goal is to provide our customers with an exceptional value, easy to use, durable, do-it-yourself, professional grade coating kits. My number one goal has always been honest customer satisfaction. We know that you have many choices when selecting a floor coating, and we thank you for purchasing our epoxy coating kit. We are certain you are going to enjoy your new high performance epoxy coat floor. If you recently purchased our epoxy coating kits, the following video will walk you through the installation process. Further instructions are available online. Your kit should contain the following. Written instructions which are also available online, safety gloves, large mixing bucket, acid cleaning granules, epoxy coat part A resin, epoxy coat part B activator hardener, wooden stirrer, three inch brush, 14 inch squeegee, nine inch roller, decorative flake chips, non-skid aluminum oxide, a mechanical mixer. You will also need a high-speed drill and a nine inch roller assembly and a roller pull. It is recommended to wear gloves, eye protection, and long pants, shirt, and shoes when applying epoxy coat. Before you start, we highly recommend testing your floor for previous sealants and moisture. If a previous sealant exists, it will need to be removed by diamond grinding prior to application. You can purchase a moisture kit on our website, www.epoxy-coat.com. Our epoxy coat can be used on concrete, tile, linoleum, terrazzo, wood flooring, and metal surfaces. Only use epoxy coat when temperature is between 40 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, when humidity is below 80%. We recommend applying the application during the evening to allow for natural cooling for less chance of bubbling. If you have chips or cracks larger than a quarter inch in your concrete, we recommend purchasing EPK 1000 patch and if they are under a quarter inch, epoxy coat acrylic latex caulk prior to coating. Now let's get started. Step one, sweep or use a power blower to clean the entire surface area. The area should be free of grease or oil. Step two, open the kit and lay out necessary tools. Be aware our three gallon full kit will cover up to 500 square feet and our one and a half gallon kit will cover up to 250 square feet. Step three, add the acid granules floor prep solution and five quarts of cold water into a plastic watering can or pump sprayer and mix until diluted. This is required if you do not diamond grind. However, you do not want to do both. Step four, apply the pre-mixture evenly over a 10 by 10 section, then scrub the pre-mixture into the surface with a hard bristled broom. Repeat this process until the entire area is covered. Step five. Once completed, apply baking soda to the floor and double rinse the surface with your water hose. Be sure to allow the floor to dry fully before coating. A power blower can help evaporate any remaining water. Step six. Rinse and dry the large black six gallon mixing bucket with a clean rag prior to mixing. Install the supplied mixing tool into a high powered drill. Step seven, using the mixing tool, mix part A resin in its original bucket for two minutes. If you are using more than one kit, combine all of part A resin together and mix. Step eight, pour all of part B into a large mixing bucket. Step nine, pour all of part A in the same large mixing bucket you just poured part B into. Step 10, Mix all contents thoroughly with the mixing tool for three minutes. Be sure to mix all around all sides of the bucket and raise and lower the mixing tool within the mixture. All contents in the bucket must be immediately used once mixed. Step 11. Start in the farthest corner of the area. Pour mixed contents in a line two inches parallel from the wall. Pour another parallel line in the center of the space. Then using the brush that came in your kit, cut in the perimeter walls or any other areas that may be difficult to roll. Remember, after you pour the mixed coating, you have roughly 45 minutes in 70 degree or cooler temperatures to coat the area. Step 12. Use the squeegee to pull the epoxy from the back wall until there is no longer excess epoxy going through both parallel lines. 
Then using the roller, roll the epoxy until the covered area is even and consistent. Repeat this process until the entire area is covered. If decorative flakes are being used, apply even throughout coating. Be sure not to walk on the wet epoxy. You have the option to add aluminum oxide, non-skid, or polyurethane clear coat over the color-coded area. To learn more, go to epoxy-coat.com. Allow 24 hours of drying time for the epoxy coat and do not allow water on the newly coated surface area for seven days. Spike shoes can be purchased at www.epoxy-coat.com for easier application. If you plan to apply multiple coats, wait 10 to 15 hours before applying each coat. These steps will also be used if you're using a primer. To purchase additional supplies or to contact customer support, call 800 841-5580. Written detailed instructions included in your kit should be read prior to installation.